today we are going to discuss the common emitter amplifier the contents that we go, are going to see first we will look the c amplifier circuit then we will go for what is the biasing circuit or the network is going to use in c amplifier then we will see the output characteristic and at the last we will see the frequency response of the common emitter amplifier so let us move further the common emitter amplifier circuit the name indicate the common emitter this name indicate that the emitter terminal is common to both the sides input and output and since this is the amplifier circuit means what we are applying the input at the input side and across the collector terminal we are observing the output this output is the amplified version of the input means the strength of the output signal is increased with respect to the input signal so this is nothing but the common emitter amplifier circuit the different capacitors are used the different resistances are used in the circuit the next first of all we'll see what is the biasing network going to use in the common emitter amplifier there are different biasing circuits used to give the dc levels or the dc voltages to operate the transistor in on state or the off state means to conduct the transistor so in this case in c amplifier circuit the biasing used is nothing but the voltage divider biasing means what the two resistances are used here at the side of the base terminal and whatever the voltage drop across the resistance r2 is available as the input voltage that is the base voltage at the input side of the transistor so this network is called as the voltage divider biasing so what is the advantage of the voltage divider biasing here the different networks or the different biasing circuits are changing the value of beta that is the conductive parameter so here in this case by maintaining the value of the base voltage constant that is by giving the constant voltage across the resistance r2 the variations in the value of beta are reduced and because of that the less variations in the beta the stability of the circuit increases means in case of the c amplifier circuit we are going to use the voltage divider biasing and because of that the stability of the circuit is increased so r1 r2 gives the constant amount of the current flowing and again the constant value of the base voltage okay then different capacitors are used in the common emitter circuit so c1 and c2 as you can see in the circuit here the c1 is used at the input side and c2 is used at the output side so what is the purpose of the capacitors generally you know the role of capacitors that the capacitors blocks the dc and allows the ac signal to pass and since this is the amplifier we are going to amplify the ac signal so we want transmission of the ac signal in proper manner or in good manner means fully ac signal should pass through the terminals or through the wires so since the capacitors are used to pass the ac signal properly here the capacitors the input coupling and the output coupling capacitor passes the ac signal easily but blocks the dc means what what is the advantage of blocking the dc so your biasing levels are fixed because of the fixed biasing we are getting the fixed current and the fixed voltages available for the transistor and this condition should be fixed no any variations should be there in the voltages and the current and to maintain that what is the advantage of the using coupling capacitor the coupling capacitors blocks the dc levels means whenever or if suppose any voltage dc voltage available because of the different sources available the dc signal is not affecting whatever the biasing conditions of the transistor okay so maintain the stability of the circuit more this is the role of the coupling capacitors this blocks dc and passes ac so the bypass capacitor is used here what is the purpose of bypass capacitor that is connected across the emitter terminal so you know that again the same thing the capacitor blocks the dc and passes the ac signal 
we know that whenever we are applying the input signal some value of the signal is available across the emitter terminal if suppose we are not going to use the bypass capacitor whatever the available voltage across the emitter that will provide the negative feedback for the transistor means the changing the gain of the circuit means it will reduce the gain of the common emitter circuit means here the bypass capacitor is used to bypass whatever the ac signal available across the emitter terminal that means increasing the gain of the circuit this is the output characteristic curve what it shows means your amplifier circuit acts as the inverting amplifier means what whatever the input signal we are applying at the input at the output we are getting 180 degree phase shift means there is 180 degree phase shift between input signal and output means whenever positive cycle of the input is there we are getting the negative cycle for the output voltage in this diagram the ib current is shown here that is in terms of micro ampere output current is shown ic that is in milli ampere means what we are getting amplified output here the vc value is shown here means for the less amount of the vo voltage applied at the input we are getting the maximum output but we are getting the inverted output means whenever we are applying the positive cycle of the base current we are getting the negative cycle of the vc value means output signal when we are applying the negative value of the base current we are getting the positive cycle for the output voltage means here the common emitter amplifier is acting as the inverter means it is providing you the phase shift of 180 degree between input and output here we can see the application or the simulation of the ca amplifier circuit so we can observe here the input signal in terms of millivolt is applied at the input side and oscilloscope is connected at the output side and again the coupling capacitors are present these are c1 c2 and the bypass capacitance is present across the emitter terminal so now we will observe the output signal here so this is the input signal we have applied at the input terminal so this is nothing but it is in 10 millivolts okay so here we can observe the output signal getting it is approximately equals to 1.4 volts means this shows that your output signal has been increased or amplified now we can see both the signals at the same time that shows the phase shift present between the input and output here the two waveforms are shown input and output and we can observe that a phase shift of 180 degree is present between input and output means the output signal is inverted to the input signal so this is about the inverting case of the amplifier so next we'll switch to the frequency response of the amplifier circuit you know the capacitive reactance is given by xc that is equals to 1 upon 2 pi fc so what is f f is nothing but the frequency of the input signal applied and c is nothing but the different capacitors present so in frequency response there are different capacitors affecting to the low frequency and the higher frequency the low frequencies are generally affected by the coupling capacitor and the that is bypass capacitor so how is the effect for the low frequency so f is less means xc is high whenever the xc is high means the reactance is high and the voltage drop across the capacitance is more and whenever this coupling and bypass capacitors across this capacitor the voltage drop is more so less amount of the voltage is transferred to the next circuit for the next stage means what because of that it is reducing the voltage gain of the circuit and again whenever the voltage drop is more across the bypass capacitor it is giving the highest amount of the negative feedback and in that way indirectly reducing the gain of the circuit means the coupling and bypass capacitors are affecting the low frequency response of the circuit 
and you know that the inter electrode or you can call the capacitor these are the parasitic capacitors these are affecting high frequency response so now we will say that what is the inter electrode or the parasitic capacitor whenever the junctions are there these are forming the wires and whatever the material in between that this is forming the insulator it means the capacitive effect is present between two junctions and these capacitors are called as inter electrode or the parasitic capacitors so whenever the frequency is high the xc is low that means the voltage drop across the capacitance is low and this will provide the interjunction feedback present in the transistor or any circuitry and because of that it will reduce the gain means the frequency response of the circuit is affected by at the lower side by the capacitances that coupling and bypass capacitance and the higher frequency response is affected by the inter electrode capacitances now for the c amplifier circuit we will see the simulation of the bandwidth so this bandwidth of the c amplifier what it shows we are getting the constant output voltage that is the constant output ranges for the middle ranges of the frequency but there is a drop at the lower side and the drop at the higher side why this is the lower side is affected by the coupling and bypass capacitances and the higher side is affected by the inter electrode or the interjunction capacitance present now we will see the simulation of the c amplifier without the bypass capacitor here in the circuit i have removed the bypass capacitance and here at the output or at the oscilloscope display we are getting the output voltage available so we can see that the output voltage range is 22 millivolts means whenever we are removing the bypass capacitance the output voltage range has been decreased means the removing of the bypass capacitance decreases the output voltage means that indirectly that is decreasing the gain of the circuit again by removing the bypass capacitor we can see or we can observe the bandwidth of the circuit in the previous case there is more drop at the low frequency side whenever we are going to reduce or we are going to remove the bypass capacitance the bandwidth of the circuit has been increased here so what it shows by removing the bypass capacitor increases the bandwidth of the circuit but by removing the bypass capacitor it decreases the gain of the circuit let us conclude this c amplifier circuit in the c amplifier circuit we are using the voltage divider biasing circuit it increases the stability of the circuit roll up capacitors the different capacitors are used to increase the gain of the circuit in output characteristics we have seen we are getting the inverted output as compared to the input signal means we are getting 180 degree phase shift and the frequency response of the circuit is affected by the coupling capacitors these are c1 c2 input coupling and the bypass capacitance and the higher frequency response is affected by is affected by the interjunction or the inter electrode capacitances present in the circuit thank you very much